I am changing my videos and experimenting with a more vloggish style, so please bear with me in this transition. Also, feel free to leave suggestions and constructive criticism in the comments since I'm still learning. The city life has been swallowing my effort to live slower and with more intention. When I'm in a project, once I get the hang of it, I have the tendency to start neglecting self-care and breaks and just rush through everything. Or I uselessly procrastinate <laughs> until the very last minute and then I'm forced to rush otherwise I don't meet my deadline. These are automatic responses that I'm working on tuning down a bit to let my conscious mind decide with intention how I want to go about my work and life balance. I needed an escape to slow down, take a break, ground myself again. Life's too short not to pay attention and live on autopilot. One day you're a kid with your whole life ahead of you. The next you're giving up your dreams because you're quote unquote too old for them. And then you realize you let life slip away. Death has surrounded me lately. I've been piling up grief and the biggest thought it brings me is about mortality, of course. How unstable and uncertain life is. How mortal life is. And there is no escape from that. And these thoughts merge with the book I'm currently reading by Clarice Lispector, Agua Viva, where she writes Death is the impossible and the intangible in such a way that there's only future and there are those who can't stand it and commit suicide. It's as if life says this. And there simply isn't this. Just two dots waiting. It also makes me think about ancestors and how important it is to honor them, to remember them, even if we never met the majority of them. We're only here because they existed. Their lives came and went. Their lives were forgotten. 
even though we are a reflection of their existence. And that brings me to the million dollar question. What's the point to all of this? I have absolutely no answer whatsoever. No possible answer has ever satisfied my curiosity. But when I'm about to drift off to sleep and I'm in an altered state of mind, a less human state, a more ether, more air state, I'm fluid. Like water turns into vapor, it turns into air. I feel like I have no ending, no beginning. I am less human, I am something more. I can access the abstraction, I can fish them and translate them into words. Words that I use to communicate them to you. Words that make them tangible, concrete in a way. I collect thoughts, I gather them, I translate them, and during the day I forget them and block them out. That altered state of mind is evidence to me that there's more to this. There might be a hidden meaning that the human brain in human form can't comprehend. Until we are no longer human, we can't make sense of any of it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this new format of video, please let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment. This is new to me, so I do need your validation. <laughs> also, please make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos like this.
I'd like to thank my patrons for always being so supportive and if you want to join us and become a patron, the link is in the description. Thank you again and I'll see you soon. Oh. <laughs>